about today, what the Lord has to say about the book of Deuteronomy chapter 15. Before we get started into that, we'll go ahead and get started into prayer. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us. Give us wisdom and understanding about what we're about to read, watch, and listen to as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the Spirit. Guard and protect us, our vehicles, our loved ones, their vehicles, others, their vehicles, and the animals as well as we're traveling to and from different locations today. Send down our guardian angel to protect us. We thank you for them. Give them and us the rest and restoration we both need to do the work you've called us to do. Send down the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today. We plead the blood of Jesus and pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us and our loved ones today. If there's anyone we need to be praying for, speaking encouraging words to, and or listening to, just show us that person. We pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits. Take away any and all distractions away from us right now so we can focus on you. And we pray against any attacks of the enemy over us, our loved ones, our leaders, and the world. We pray for God's favor over this video, this channel, everyone listening, us, our leaders, and the world. We pray, Lord, that you um, just heal our land and show mercy on us and protect our cities and give us godly and divine wisdom to make the right choices today and decisions for us and for our country and for our leaders. Um, we just pray over, we pray Lord that you reveal to us what leaders you want us to be choosing um, as we go and vote, Lord, just um, help us to choose the right leaders that you want into leadership that are going to do your will, Lord. We thank you for that. And also, Lord, we thank you for the leaders that we currently have. May you safeguard and protect them each and every day. And if they aren't leading the way you want them to do, change their hearts to want to serve you and lead the way you've called them to do. And we thank you for that. And Lord, we ask, we come to you in repentance of our sins and ask that you forgive us of them, whether they be in word, thought, and or action against you, ourselves, and or others. And we forgive those, Lord, who've sinned against us. And we pray for our enemies and all those listening and all our family and loved ones, Lord, and all our leaders that have not yet accepted you as their Lord and Savior. May, may today be the day that they do so, Lord. And we thank you for that. And also, Lord, we pray John 3.16 over them. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So if you prayed that prayer with me today, you can know that you're going to go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. For it's not by works so that no man shall boast. And there's not enough good works that any of us can do to earn our way to heaven. It's only through the perfect sinless life that was Jesus being born, died, buried, and rising again for our sins and the sins of the world that any of us get to go to heaven. So we thank you for this person that accepted you as their Lord and Savior today. We pray for those who have not yet accepted you as their Lord and Savior that they do so before it's too late so they do not go to hell. And we thank you for the person that accepted you as their Lord and Savior today. Help them um, in their daily walk and relationship to you. Get into prayer with you each and every day so they can hear your still small voice and obey what you tell them to do. Help them to get into your word, which is the Bible and stands for basic instructions before leaving earth, so they can discern between the truth and the lies. And show them the gifts and talents you've given them and how to use them for your glory. I thank you for them and everyone listening today. And Jesus' mighty name, 
And all God's people said, Amen. All right, let's go ahead and get started into what the Lord has to say about the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 15. So if you have your Bibles and would like to follow along, go ahead and turn them to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 15, and we'll get started. Thank you. At the end of every seven years, thou shalt make a release. And this is the manner of the release. Every creditor that lendeth aught unto his neighbor shall release it. He shall not exact it of his neighbor or of his brother, because it is called the Lord's release. Of a foreigner thou mayest exact it again, but that which is thine with thy brother thy hand shall release. Say when there shall be no poor among you. For the Lord shall greatly bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance to possess it. Only if thou carefully hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all the commandments which I command thee this day. For the Lord thy God blesseth thee as he hath promised thee. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, but thou shalt not borrow. And thou shalt reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over thee. If there be among you a poor man of one of thy brethren within any of the gates in thy land, which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not harden thy heart, nor shut thy hand from thy poor brother. But thou shalt open thy hand wide unto him, and shalt surely lend him sufficient for his need, and that which it he wanteth. Beware that there be not a thought in thy wicked heart, saying, The seventh year, the year of release, is at hand. And thy eye be evil against thy poor brother, and thou givest him not. And he cry unto the Lord against thee, and it be sin unto thee. Thou shalt surely give him, and thy heart shall not be grieved when thou givest unto him. Because that for this thing the Lord thy God shall bless thee in all thy works, and in all that thou puttest thy hand unto. For the poor shall never cease out of the land, for therefore I command thee, saying, Thou shalt open thy hand wide unto thy brother, to thy poor, and to thy needy in thy land. And if thy brother, an Hebrew man, or an Hebrew woman, be sold unto thee, and serve thee six years, then in the seventh year thou shalt let him go free from thee. And when thou sendest him out free from thee, thou shalt not let him go away empty. Thou shalt furnish him liberally out of thy flock, and out of thy floor, and out of thy winepress, of that wherewith the Lord thy God hath blessed thee, thou shalt give unto him. Thou shalt remember that thou wast a bondman in the land of Egypt, and the Lord thy God redeemed thee. Therefore I command thee this thing today, and it shall be, if he say unto thee, I will not go away from thee, because he loveth thee and thy house, because he is well with thee, then thou shalt take an all, and thrust it through his ear unto the door, and he shall be thy servant forever, and also unto thy maid servant thou shalt do likewise. It shall not seem hard unto thee when thou sendest him away free from thee, for he hath been a worth a double hired servant to thee in serving thee six years, and the Lord thy God shall bless thee in all that thou doest. All the firstlings males that come of thy herd and of thy flock thou shalt sanctify unto the Lord thy God. Thou shalt do no work with the firstling of thy bullock, nor shear the firstling of thy sheep. Thou shalt eat it before the Lord thy God, year by year, in the place which the Lord shall choose, thou and thy household. And if there be any blemish therein, as if it be lame, or blind, or have any ill blemish, thou shalt not sacrifice it unto the Lord thy God. Thou shalt eat it within thy gates, the unclean and the clean person shall eat it alike, as the roebuck and as the heart. Only thou shalt not eat the blood thereof. Thou shalt pour it upon the ground as water. And that's the end of what the Lord has to say about the book of Deuteronomy chapter 15. Hope you all enjoyed and were blessed by it. We are going through the Bible verse by verse, chapter by chapter, all the way from the beginning, from the book of Genesis, all the way to the end, to the book of Revelation. And the Lord commands us to spread the gospel to the world. So if you have not already, you can all go ahead and um, watch my previous videos beginning with the book of Genesis, what the Lord has to say about the book of Genesis chapter 1 all the way to this chapter to get caught up. Um, so we can get in God's word each and every day. It's important so we can discern between the truth and the lies and to just grow in our relationship with God and um, spread his word. 
All right, till next time. Bye.